Today I'm going to show you how to design a professional looking YouTube thumbnail for your YouTube videos that is going to look like this without using any professional expensive software like Adobe Photoshop instead using a free online based software that's like Adobe Photoshop but it's completely free called Photopea. So let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, open up your browser and then type in Photopea. And then hit enter and then click on the first link. The link is in the description. As soon as, as, soon as you've clicked on the link, it will open up this Photopea online video editor. As you can see, it's opened up the Photopea online video editor. Now first, before you open up the editor, go back to your Windows Explorer. And then you have to create a folder and then get ready all the stuff that you'll need to make your thumbnail like all the icons and whatever you're planning on to add onto your thumbnail to make it look really cool now the image i showed you earlier which is what my thumbnail was going to look like you can see that i've put a different background and i've added the photo p logo and the youtube logo and also this icon so you'll have to save images from google and then get all the stuff ready so that it's easy for you to create the thumbnail without wasting any time right as soon as you've saved them all you have to create a folder like how I've done it says thumbnail tools put all the icons and wallpapers you'll need and then go back to Google type in photo P and open up the website now here make sure you hit F11 on your keyboard to enter full screen so that you can work much easier and conveniently without being disturbed by the background stuff that are there on your computer as soon as you hit F11 it will enter into full screen mode now, as soon as you've entered full screen mode, you'll have to click on new project. And then here, put the width and height to 1920 by, 20, uh, 1920 by 1080, which is the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail. You can even select 1280 by 720, but I recommend this one to get a more high quality thumbnail. As soon as you've typed in the dimensions, click on create, and then your blank canvas right here will open up. Now here, you'll have to click on file, open and then you'll have to drag in all the wallpapers and the logos and all the icons you'll need for your project so let me just drop in my logo this icon the photo p logo this icon and instead of the icon i used earlier i'm just going to use this wallpaper for this project and that's pretty much it i'm going to use all these items for my logo the rest i'm going to be doing in photo p itself like the text and stuff now here click on open and then all of the stuff you selected will be loaded in different windows here. Now here, go to the window where you've dropped in your background, the wallpaper, drag it and then drop it onto your new project blank canvas. Now here, adjust it and then hit Ctrl T on your keyboard and then hold the shift key and then drag the corners to resize the image so that it fits perfectly on your thumbnails blank canvas. I'm going to click on the cursor icon to stop the selection and as you can see we are we're done with the first part of our thumbnail. Now the second stuff is to add text. Now one thing I recommend while adding text is not just adding text directly but for drawing a rectangle in the background and then placing the text on the top so that the text is more obvious and easy to read so that it doesn't blend in with the background. So first you have to click on the rectangle tool right here. And then just create a rough rectangle like this and then you'll have to hold it keep it right there and then you can change the color anytime by right clicking on the shape layer the rectangle layer right clicking and then clicking on blending options now here you can adjust the color overlay and stuff like that so i'm going to hit color overlay and then set the color to something like a greenish color let me see what suits me well i think that looks pretty cool now here click on ok and one more thing I'm going to add is a drop shadow so that the rectangle looks a bit cooler. I'm just going to check this box, this drop shadow checkbox, and then I'm going to adjust it so that the shadow looks so that the shadow looks obvious and pretty cool. I think that looks pretty cool. Now here just click on OK to apply your settings. Now here we've got a rectangle. Now we're going to add our text. I'm going to type in first make. I'm going to click on the text tool and then you'll have to click anywhere on your blank canvas. And then type in your text. I'm typing in make. And then click on the cursor icon. Hit control T. Hold the shift key and then drag the corners. Adjust it so that it fits in the rectangle. Just like that. 
and I'm gonna place it like that now here I can just adjust the size of the rectangle so that fits with the size of the text hitting ctrl T and then without holding shift I'm just gonna drag this right side so that it's the perfect size the width of this um, rectangle matches the width of the text like that okay I'm gonna make the text a bit smaller you'll have to tweak in a bit of settings here and there to make it look cool and readable and that looks pretty cool now I'm gonna change the text color to do that right click on the text layer click on blending options click on color overlay and then check and then select this color overlay text and then set the color to any color you want I'm gonna select white and then click on OK I'm gonna click on OK again now we're done with the first part of our thumbnail which is adding the text now we've only added one so now to make things easier i'm going to show you a trick which you can use to copy the same stuff and then paste it like how many times you want and then only change the text to do that click on the text layer from here and then hold the control key and then select the shape layer now as soon as both of them are selected right click and then you can click on duplicate layer and then do it again how many times you want and then you can drag it and then keep it so that it's perfect so now I've put this here and then I'm just gonna select this one hold it I'm gonna uncheck this auto select and then I'm gonna drag it now this one let me see if I can get it out yeah now these two these two pairs and finally yeah, this one is this one of course okay we've got three of four of these text right here now to change the text you can just click on the text tool Type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in thumbnails because that's what I'm thumb what's that's what the text I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna adjust the size just so that it um, matches perfectly. Now it's gonna speed up the video. I'm not gonna show you the whole process. You can just do the whole stuff on your own. Alright, so now I'm done adjusting and editing all the text and I'm done adjusting the rectangles. Now we're gonna tweak in a bit with the settings and then the position of these text. I'm gonna rotate these two layers now to group all these two layers that is the rectangle and the text together so that you can do later settings like rotating it and stuff together. Like if you try to rotate both of them hitting Ctrl T and then just rotating thing, you can see that only this one is rotating and not the rectangle. Now one, you, one thing you can do is that you can group all these layers together. I'm going to group this one and this one together. So right click and then here you will find merge layers. Now both of them will then become one layer which you can use to rotate and do stuff together. So both of them are grouped right now. You can do the same thing to all of these layers like this one. Right click, merge both the layers. To select both of them, select the first one, hit control, hold control and then select the next layer. I'm gonna merge all of them merge now all of them are just one layer so all of them are separate layers but the text and the rectangles has been merged now I'm just gonna rotate this so that it looks like this so that it gives a bit of a cool effect like as if it's rotated so I'm gonna adjust it and then here I'm gonna select this one again hit ctrl T and then rotate it just like that I'm gonna keep it like here and then this one I'm gonna rotate to the other side like that I'm gonna keep the like layer on top so that it doesn't go under the thumbnail layer as you can see it's going under the thumbnail layer. I want to go I, I want it to go above the thumbnail layer to do that you can just drag it to the top all the way to the top and you can adjust it so that it's on the top just like that and if you same thing with the this layer it's already on the top so I don't have to do anything with that and then you can select all of these text and rectangles by holding the control key and then selecting them all hit control T and then increase all of their size together so this is a really cool trick which you can use instead of doing everything manually as soon as you're adjusted you can see that you've already made a pretty cool thumbnail now you can stop here if you like but what I recommend is adding your face or any kind of icon so that it gives a bit of an effect onto your thumbnail so that people know what your video is about so now first I'm gonna add a YouTube logo in here so let me go back here this is the YouTube logo I'm gonna drag it and then drop it onto the new projects page now just in case like there's a bug in Photopea I guess that when you're dragging these stuff 
you can see it turns into a rectangle kind of stuff here now if that happens one thing you can do is just you can open it up again but instead of clicking on open you can click on open and place now here when i try to drag this youtube logo you can see that it's not dragging in properly it's just selecting the stuff here so now to fix that issue you can go back click on file and click on open and place this time and then select the stuff you want as the youtube icon and then click on open and that will automatically place it there on your project i'm going to drag it to the top so that it's visible and there we've got a youtube logo i'm going to hit ctrl t make it a bit smaller and then rotate it so that's like that i'm going to keep it here and that looks pretty cool now i'm going to drag in my photo p logo clicking on file open and place and then the photo p logo and then as there there's my photo p logo let me make it small just like that and keep it in the bottom right here and then keep the youtube logo on the top and here you can see it's barely visible that's because the google image that was the png image doesn't show the logo properly so i'm going to put a white layer underneath by clicking on the rectangle tool and then i'm going to just draw a rectangle so that's under the so that's under the logo i'm going to place it under the photo p logo and right click on it and then turn the color into white there we go and then i've got the photo p logo i'm going to select both of them together merge them and now we've got our photo p logo there right here okay now it's pretty visible now once you're done with that we've got one more thing to add which is that youtube um, tablet icon which i had got from google earlier so let me just do that again drop it in open and place and here we've got this logo this um tablet youtube i could i think this phone or i think it's a tablet it's a browser youtube browser version now open it up and i'm gonna keep it right here just gonna keep it right there and then just keep it right there okay i'm gonna rotate it and now finally i'm gonna keep this under this thumbnail layer so that's like um as if it's under the thumbnail text layer so i'm gonna keep this all the way in the bottom right there now it looks pretty cool now one final thing i like to add to all my thumbnails is to add a drop shadow to do that right click on the layer click on blending options and here click on drop shadow and then you can increase the size all right so i'm adding a drop shadow to this youtube logo and yeah now i'm gonna copy the layer style that is by right clicking on the layer layer style and then copy now what this will do is just copy all the layer style which we applied onto this and then we can paste it onto other stuff that are there on your thumbnail now i'm gonna add i'm gonna paste it onto this tablet this tablet youtube app i think so i'm gonna select it i'm gonna right click on the layer layer style and this time paste now as you can see the shadow effect i um, applied for the youtube logo is pasted onto this youtube app logo now again i'm going to do the same thing to this photo p logo i do this so that it's really visible and obvious for the people to find out what it is now if it now if i hadn't already added a shadow effect to the photo p logo it will be hidden with the background as the photo p logo's color and the thumbnail's background's color is the same now the final thing that I always do to my logo as a branding is that I add a logo that is that I add my logo on the bottom right corner. Now to do that you can just um, drop in your logo, file and then open place and then just drop in your logo, mine is right here now and then I'm just going to draw a rectangle, a normal rectangle and then I'm going to hit control T and then rotate it just like that and then place it right there and that looks pretty cool i'm going to change the color right clicking on the layer click on blending options color overlay and set it to white and i'm going to add a drop shadow and then click on ok one final thing is that i drop in my logo on the top just like that and there we go We've got our logo on our thumbnail. And yeah, guys, we've made a completely professional looking YouTube thumbnail by yourself using a online based software that looks completely like Adobe Photoshop. Now, to be honest, guys, I don't use the software because I already have Adobe Photoshop. But if you guys don't have Adobe Photoshop, you don't need to buy Adobe Photoshop. You can just use this free online based software that's completely like Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, 
Now for reference, I'm gonna open up Adobe Photoshop on my computer. Now this is how Adobe Photoshop looks like. As you can see, we've got all these tools over here. The layers panel, the channels panel, the paths, and also these color, color and swatches panels and all these stuff. If you go back to Adobe, um, if you go back to Photopea, you can see we've got all the tools here. We've got the layers, channels, paths. We've got the history and the swatches. And of course the color the colors right now not showing because i've hidden it you can go if you can always go to a window select color and then the color panels will open up right here i'm just going to keep it on top of history as you can see so photo p and photoshop looks completely same so instead of buying photoshop you can use a, you can use photo p which is completely same now just in case if you had photoshop you can follow along with my tutorial all the shortcuts and settings are completely same and yeah guys that's the end of this video i find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and make sure to hit the subscribe button to help me make more videos like this and guys i want to show you one more feature one more setting which you can use to for your thumbnail which is that adding a glowing effect right click on any layer you want to add a glowing effect click on blending options now here select outer glow and then select the color to anything you want and then you can increase the size of that glow i'll change the color to red and as you can see we've got this cool glow effect and now once you're done making your thumbnail like this you'll have to export it to do that you'll have to click on file and then click on export as and then i recommend selecting png or jpeg not any of these other formats because they don't support now jpeg is good if your thumbnail is going to be a bigger size but if your thumbnail doesn't have a lot of stuff you can select png i'm going to select png just to show you guys and then i'm going to you can just decrease degrade the quality or increase the quality to the way you want it to look like so now i think this is pretty cool and then just click on save and it will download onto your computer you can click on that and then have a look at your professional looking youtube thumbnail and yeah guys that's all i've got to say see you later thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one